Welcome back, kids. Today I'm sitting on the porch, and you can hear the fountain in the background as I am on the swing. And today we're going to read from our book, Values and Virtues, Bernstein Bears. And this chapter is Love Their Neighbors. Let's see. Start. Oh, I see. It starts right here. It says, love your neighbors as yourself. And who is my neighbor? Luke 10, 27 through 29. Do you know who your neighbor is? I know I have my neighbor, Randy. And sometimes I have some neighborhood boys come over and ask to rake my leaves or mow my lawn. So let's see what's going to happen here. Let's see. Let's see, Mama with the broom, sister, and little honey. So let's see. The family. The Bear family was quite proud of their handsome tree house home. They worked hard to keep it neat and tidy. The trim was freshly painted. The front steps were scrubbed. The windows were washed. The lawn was mowed. And the flower beds were weeded. Even the leaves of the tree were carefully trimmed and clipped. Oh, he didn't mention how pretty flowers they have. Also, that's a hard mower to push. I like a gasoline engine mower. And if you can, electric mowers are pretty cool too. They don't make as much noise. Let's continue. Most of their neighbors took good care of their homes as well. The pandas across the street were even bigger, neat nicks than the bear. It seemed they were always hard at work, sweeping and cleaning. Farmer Ben's farm, just down the road, was always in apple pie order too. Even his chicken coop was as neat as a pin. The Bear family had a few neighbors whose houses were positively fancy. Like Mayor Honeypot, the bear who rode around Bear Town in his long lavender limousine. His house was three stories tall and built of brick. It had a big brass knocker on the front door and statues and flamingos. How many flamingos do you see? One, two, how many fingers? Can you count to three? One, two, three. Lovely car, flamingos. Brick house. Okay. Even more impressive was the mansion of Squire Grizzly, the richest bear in all bear country. It stood on a hill surrounded by acres of lawns and gardens. Dozens of servants and gardeners took care of the place. The bear family was proud of their neighborhood and they got along well with their neighbors. Everybody. Look at the hen house. I wonder how many eggs they get. Do you like eggs? I like scrambled eggs. I like breakfast burritos too. Mm. Let's continue. <coughs> uh oh. Except for the Bog brothers. The Bog brothers lived in a rundown old shack not far from the Bear family's treehouse. But what a difference. Their roof was caving in. That'd be scary. Oh my. And the whole place leaned to one side. It was junk all over the yard. Dogs, cats ran everywhere. A big pig wallowed in the mud out back. Those bog brothers, Mama would say, whenever she saw them, they're a disgrace to the neighborhood. Yes, agreed Papa. 
They certainly are a problem. Look at this. What do we see in this picture? It's got a pitchfork. The cat was scared from the dog. Oh, the chickens are okay eating. This is a happy cat. Looks like a happy chicken. Sleepy dog. Sleepy bear. Pigs are happy in the mud. Oh, look where the bears, the bear family lives here. And right across the road, you know, they have this ugly looking land and house. Oh, that's not a pretty sight to look at. I guess they better turn around and they should look the other way. So they don't have to look at this mess. Why are they so messy? Why? One bright spring morning, the Bear family was working outside, cleaning up and fixing up when the Bog brothers came along. They were driving their broken down old jalopy. It made a terrific clanking racket. Hmm, he's playing a banjo. She's happy with her little pig. And the car still moving. And here's our little bear family. They're fixing up, making their place look pretty. Oh no. As they drove past the treehouse, one of the Bog brothers spit out of the car. It was nearly missed the mailbox. It's not polite to spit. <coughs> it shows that you're not pleased or you're disgusting. As they drove past the treehouse, oh yeah, one of the bogs spit out the car, nearly missed the mailbox. Really, said Mama, shocked. Those bog brothers are disgraced. I agree, said Papa. Getting the mail out of the mailbox I'm afraid they're not very good neighbors. Oh, huh, look at this. They got some mail with a ribbon tied to it. Oh, their license plate says BOG, B-O-G-G. -G. What's the next page got for us? Papa looked through the mail and found a big yellow flyer rolled up. He opened it, showed it to the rest of the family. Oh boy, said sister and brother, it's like a big block party. Can we go? It certainly sounds like fun, said Mama. What do you think, Papa? Everyone in town will be there, said Papa. We ought to go too. Yeah, cried the cubs. So what's this say on here? Come one, come all to the Big Bear Town Festival. Help celebrate our wonderful neighborhood. Games, rides, contests, prizes, fireworks. It's gonna be on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Horace J. Honeypot Mayor is providing this big old festival. So, on Saturday morning, they all piled into the car. They had a picnic basket and folding chairs. They were looking forward to a day of excitement and fun. But as they drove along, the car began to make a funny sound. It started out as a puckata, puckata, puckata. I say onomatopoeia. But it soon developed into a Bucket of wheeze, bucket of wheeze. Oh no, to have such a nice car and to have it have a problem, who's going to be able to fix it? Oh, oh boy, I've had this happen to my car. The water starts shooting out of the radiator. My oh my. Have you had that happen to your car? Have you ever been in a car and mommy or daddy goes, oh boy, here we go. I think mama's gonna say, we're in a pickle now. Here we come, pickle or not. Let's see, oh dear, said mama. What is that awful sound the car is making? 
Just then, the car made a much worse sound, a loud clunk. It came to a sudden halt, and the radiator cap blew off. They all climbed out, and Papa opened the door. <clears throat> Now, <coughs> I guess it's overheated, said Papa, waving a cloud of steam with his hat. Oh no, said Sister. How are we going to get to the Bear Town Festival? <coughs> Maybe someone will stop and give us a hand, said Papa. Hopefully, here comes the car. Let's wave. Maybe they will stop. See a car in the background? You think they'll stop? When I turn the page, what do you think? Yes or no? Hold up your hand if you say yes. Put your hands down if it's no. I think yes. You think yes? Let's take a peek. I'm all excited. Ready? Oh. <clears throat> it was Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot in their long lavender limousine. They were on their way to the festival, too. Their car slowed down, but it didn't stop. The mayor leaned his head out of the window. Sorry, we can't stop, he said. We're late already. I'm master of ceremonies today. I've got to be there on time. I'm sure someone will stop to help you. And he pulled away with a squeal of tires. Hmm, said Papa. Maybe someone else will be coming along. Okay, I was wrong. The car didn't stop. Darn. Soon, another car came along. It was Squire and Lady Grizzly being driven to the festival in their big black Grizz Royce. They slowed down too. Lady Grizzly rode down her window. I'm afraid we can't stop, she said. We don't have time. I am the judge of the flower arranging contest. We simply must hurry. And with that, they pulled away. Oh boy, it's like baseball. Two strikes. What's gonna happen? Maybe no one is come, going to stop, said Sister. Maybe we're never going to get to the festival. One of our neighbors is sure to stop and help us, said Mama. After all, that's what neighbors are for. Yeah, said Brother, but do they know that? A cloud of dust appeared down the road. Ooh, are they going to stop? Yes or no? Yes? Hands up. Or no? Thumbs up? Thumbs down. Thumbs up? Or take a ride. Okay, let's see what they're going to say. Here comes someone now, sister, said eagerly. The dust cloud grew, grew closer and they could hear a clackety racket getting louder. Oh no, said Papa, shading his eyes and peering down the road. If that's who I think it is. It was. Who do you think it was? <laughs> who do you think is coming down the road? It was. It was the Bog Brothers. They came clanking up to their rickety old jalopy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they came clanking up in their old rickety jalopy and screeched to a halt. First one, then another, then another of the Bog Brothers came climbing out. Yeah, here they come. Chugga, chugga, chugga. <clears throat> Howdy, said the first Bog Brother. Hello there, said Papa. I'm Lem said the first bog brother. I can see you having some trouble with your vehicle. Well, yes we are, said Papa. Maybe we can give you a hand, said Lem. What would be, that would be a very neighborly of you, said Papa. Hey, Clem, hey, Shem, hey, Lem, get out the rope. The other two bog brothers rooted around in the back of the jalopy and came up with a length of rope. They hitched it to the back of the bumper of their car and tied the other end around the front bumper of the bear's car. All aboard, said Lem. 
The Bear family climbed hastily back into their car, and the Boggs brothers pulled away, towing the car behind them. See, here's the Boggs brothers' car, and they got a rope tied between the bumpers to pull him away. I thought they were going to be able to fix it, but that's the next best thing. If you got a rope, you can help tow the vehicle. So, where are they taking us, asked Mama. Papa sh shrugged. At least we're moving. Brother and sister hoped the Bond brothers weren't taking them down to their old shack. They didn't want to meet that big pig. They soon pulled into a run-down old filling station. Someone who looked like an older version of the Bog Brothers came out. Oh, it looks like a gas station. Hello, Uncle Zeke, said Lem. Hello, Nefu, said Uncle Zeke. What can I do for her? <coughs> These poor folks broke down on the road, said Lem. You reckon you can fix them up? Well, let's take a look, said Uncle Zeke. Hmm, so still some steam coming out of the engine. You see that? Kind of diagnosed the problem. He looked under the car's hood, banged and clanged around, and came up with a length of burst hose. Oh, a hose broke inside. He said, busted, clean open. I should have another one of them around here somewheres. Uncle Zeke rummaged through behind the filling station and soon came back with a radiator hose. He banged and clanged under the hood for a few more minutes. Wow, look at all the things. I think that would be fun to be able to go through all these different items and see what they are and guess what they can do. Me and my brother used to do that. We used to like to go through a bunch of thrown away items by people and see if we could fix them, like radios or bicycles. There, he said, wiping his hands, good as new. We'll top off the radiator and you folks can be on your way. Thank you very much, said Papa, relieved. He shook hands with Uncle Zeke and the Bond brothers. Thank you, said Mama, brother and sister. Honey Bear waved. How much do we owe you? Said, asked Papa, reaching out for his wallet. Nothing, said Lem. This one is on us. After all, we're neighbors. Look at this. Everybody's all happy. <coughs> That's right, said Mama with a gulp. We are. In fact, how would you neighbors like to come over to our house for dinner next week? Papa, brother, and sister all stared at Mama with their mouths open. What? That's right, neighborly of you, said Lem. Don't mind if we do. Shem's cooking has been getting a bit tiresome. Too much possum stew. We were on our way to the Bear Town Festival, said Papa. Would you like to join us? Sure would, said Lem. We ain't been to a big shindig since Grandpa's 90th birthday party. So the Bear family drove to Bear Town with the Bog Brothers and Uncle Zeke. <clears throat> they were a little late, but they hadn't missed much. Just Mayor Honeypot's welcoming speech. They all joined in the games, rides, and contests. Well, let's see what kind of games we have. We like this one. Hitting the hammer to see how far up, see if you can ring the bell. Bing. Oh, licking candy, getting some tickets. Love to hear the music. Ah, here's somebody shooting ducks. A eh, Ferris wheel. A rocket ride. Fireworks. Oh, and the Bog Brothers, they love making music, too. I play the harmonica. Did you know that? I like the practice. Makes people smile. 
<clears throat> Next week, the Bond brothers came over to the Bears' treehouse for dinner. They wore their best clothes and got all spruced up for the occasion. They even brought a housewarming gift, a big pot of Shem's special possum stew. Mmm, was it delicious. Just add some crackers. I love to add crackers to my soup. Well, that's the end of the story. How'd you like it? Jump up and down if you like it. Up and down, jump, jump, jump. Twirl around and give me thumbs up. Yes, I like that story. Isn't it good to be kind to your neighbors and to know your neighbors? Many neighbors come over to my house and they want to borrow some tools or have my suggestion on how to solve a problem. I just love fixing problems, making things, electronics, mechanical, 3D printing. I just, I just love doing all those things. If you ever need help, just ask, and I can be a good neighbor to you. Bye-bye. Kisses.